Hi, welcome back. We are going to do some more continuous contour drawing today. Reminder, that means we're drawing in marker. We're not lifting up our marker from the paper and we are looking closely, practicing, training our eyes to observe closely and our brain to trust our eyes and our hand to draw what our eyes saw. So you're gonna pick two objects or one object from two different viewpoints that you're going to do two five minute continuous contour drawings of. So how do you pick an object that makes a good drawing? Well, it's not always that easy. Um, this is a really interesting looking object. I could, I could do this. This would be a challenge, but a really interesting one. There's a lot of really interesting lines and shapes that I could do. Um, and it's interesting to look at. I could do that one. It's a pretty good one. Lotion bottle. Kind of interesting. We've got these designs on here, but that's not what I want you to pay attention to. I don't want you to pick something based on what flat thing is on it, but has designs on it. I want you to think about these interesting edges. And while this does have some interesting stuff up here, down here it's pretty boring. Okay, so maybe this isn't the best sort of a thing. Um, I have this little succulent. You can do this little succulent. It's got some interesting lines and shapes to it. Um, basically, pick something that you think is interesting to look at that has interesting contours. Do not draw your phone. Not because I don't want to see your phone, but because it's not interesting to look at. It's like a rectangle. Pick something interesting. So I'm going to pick two interesting items to do um, a five minute, one five minute continuous contour for each. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate with one of these. Um, if you feel good, you can jump right in. But if you want to watch, you're welcome to watch. Five minutes on the clock. My object is in front of me. Here we go. Starting up at the top. Finding that curve. Now I know that the top of that is a circle, but I'm seeing this sort of squashed version of it called an ellipse. There's this rounded hole right up here at the top. regularly there. These little cutouts. Again, I'm narrating to you, but if you're just drawing on your own, just focus on drawing. It's not easy to draw and talk at the same time. Notice that I'm letting my eyes bounce back and forth from one thing to the other, from my drawing to my object. Probably ran out of room on this. That's okay. release 
circles. You can't get to them except if I draw a line connecting them. kind of try to draw the base. Mm -hmm. Pretending my line continued over there. No, I went off the paper. Now I've got the main gist of this. So now I get to figure out what details do I want to keep adding in. I'm going to come in and add this base piece here. I want I don't want to forget the cork. One of the coolest parts of it. So it has this round line here, and it has this kind of two straight lines, and then an oval here at the top. Okay, here's my five minute continuous contour of my lantern. We'll see what you got.